in a world filled with so many beautiful, fascinating and luxurious things. Wouldn't it all be so much better if we were all just insanely rich? And could afford anything and everything our hearts desired? Imagine this. What if you had an unspendable amount of money, what would you buy? Aside from the lavish mansions, palaces, villas, planes and luxury yachts. What else could you possibly buy? This very topic is the main focus of today's vid. The most expensive items on the planet. That could literally fit through your front door. Number 5. The Hope Diamond. With an estimated value of $250 million plus dollars. This particular item has a very interesting history. It is assumed to be associated with a curse because of the way it was obtained, it originally sparkled in the brow of an Indian temple idol. Until it was plucked out by a thieving Hindu priest, whose punishment for this unholy act was a slow and agonizing death. It was apparently unearthed in the Golconda mines by the Kistna River in southwest India, and made its European debut in 1642, when it was bought by a French merchant who sold it to King Louis XIV for a handsome profit. The merchant was then mauled to death by a pack of wild dogs. The diamond remained with the French royal family until it was stolen in 1792 during the French Revolution. Louis XIV and Marie Antoinette, who were beheaded, are often thought to be victims of the curse. The diamond was missing for a few decades and was recut into a smaller gem. There are unconfirmed reports that it belonged to Britain's King George IV, whose estate sold it to pay off his enormous debts. Could this also have been an effect of the curse? In 1839, the diamond was acquired by Henry Thomas Hope, which is how it got its name. After Hope's death, the diamond passed through the hands of several owners, who all suffered misfortune. Some committed suicide, were murdered, or left poor through bad investments. Others who came in contact with the diamond suffered failed marriages, dead children, drug addiction, even insanity. The curse eventually ended when jeweler Harry Winston donated, not sold it to the Smithsonian Institution in 1958, where it can be seen today. Number 4. The Star of Africa. Valued at $400 million the Star of Africa or the Cullinan, one, was found on January 25, 1905, at the Premier Mine in Pretoria, South Africa. It was part of a bigger diamond, a 3,106-carat diamond discovered during a routine inspection by the mine's superintendent. It was named the Cullinan after the mine's owner, Sir Thomas Cullinan. Weighing 1.33 pounds, the Cullinan was the largest diamond ever found. The Cullinan was later cut into nine large stones and about 100 smaller ones, all valued at millions of dollars. The largest stone is called the Star of Africa or Cullinan, one, and at 530 carats, it is the largest cut fine quality colorless diamond in the world. It is now a part of Britain's crown jewels, the Star of Africa is mounted in the British Sovereign's royal scepter. Number 3. The Salvatore Mundi. The Salvatore Mundi is a painting by Italian Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci, dated to around the year 1500. The painting depicts Jesus in Renaissance dress, making the sign of the cross with his right hand, while holding a transparent non-refracting crystal orb in the left, signaling his role as Salvatore Mundi, Latin for savior of the world, and representing the celestial sphere of the heavens. The Salvatore Mundi is one of fewer than 20 known works by Leonardo, and was the only one to remain in a private collection. It was sold at auction for $450.3 million on November 15, 2017 by Christie's in New York. It was purchased by Prince Badir bin Abdullah, setting a new record for most expensive painting ever sold at public auction. Number 2. The Jeweled Sword of Offering. Created in 1820, the Jeweled Sword of Offering is one piece of the precious British crown jewels. Although not as old as some other pieces in the crown jewels. It's still a pretty pricey piece. King George IV helped design the sword and paid for it at a cost of nearly £6,000 or about $660 million in today's money. The design of the sword was suggested by George IV himself, and it was paid for out of the king's privy purse, the allowance from the public revenue for the monarch's private expenses. It was used as a sort of offering in his coronation ceremony, or ceremony of crowning in 1821. And it has been used ever since. Before we get to the number one spot on the list, if you have enjoyed or learned something new and fascinating in this video, please consider like and subscribing. Also be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the great content we have in store. Number 1. The Mona Lisa. With an estimated value of $850 million today. The Mona Lisa, also called the Portrait of Lisa, is an oil painting on a poplar wood panel by world-renowned and world-famous painter Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa. 
probably the world's rarest and most famous painting, was painted sometime between 1503 and 1519, when Leonardo was living in Florence. It now hangs in the Louvre Museum in Paris, where it remained an object of pilgrimage in the 21st century. The sitter's mysterious smile and her unproven identity have made the painting a source of ongoing investigation and fascination. Guinness World Records lists Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa as having the highest ever insurance value for a painting. On permanent display at the Louvre in Paris, the Mona Lisa was assessed at $100 million on December 14, 1962. Taking inflation into account, the 1962 value would be around $850 million in 2019. Now this concludes our list. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please consider like and subscribing, and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the great content we have in store. Thanks again for watching, and goodbye for now.